So if you'd like to hear any lore whatsoever, make sure you're in the Discord, because once a week I'll ask a question. First person to get the question correct gets to pick lore for this week. This week was chosen by Mr. Tom Flood, and he chose Yes Man from Fallout New Vegas. Yes Man is an is an artificial intelligence that has been placed inside of a PDQ88B Securitron model. These are the Securitrons, Rob Co. Securitrons, that patrol all throughout uh, New Vegas. It's they're a little bit in Freeside, just by the by the gates, but they are the protecting force of New Vegas before the NCR is there, and the NCR is not really there to protect, but they're there, and if something pops off, you know Tandy's boys are going to be jumping in lickety. Split. So the Secur Securitron body was actually recovered after Benny and some of the chairmen got together and attacked one with a pulse grenade. They then took the Securitron to Emily Ortal. I believe I'm saying that correctly. O-R-T-A-L, Ortal. She's the woman who's outside 38 when you leave. She's like, hey, I'm a follower. Uh, I want to know more about Mr. House. They take it to her and she agrees to reprogram this Securitron if Benny gives her the secrets of who Mr. House is, what's going on. I don't know if they knew if he was a preserved body, like you find out he is, but like, they're going to want to know They're science health people. What's fun about yes, man is his name is also his job description. So he's a yes, man, a, uh, a yes, man is kind of like, it's, it's, I know this is weird to bring it back to this, but I kind of feel like this is what's going on in Kanye's life is that everybody's telling him yes. And nobody's telling him no. And Yes Man's entire programming is to tell the player character or Benny or whoever he speaks to, really, yes, you are correct. So I could be like, Benny, is this yellow shirt making me look dumb? And he'd be like, no, sir, not at all. Like, I, like, I, what do you want to hear? Like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm telling you, your yellow shirt doesn't make you look like a canary whatsoever. You can go to him and just be like, hey, yes, man, you remember Benny? And he's like, I do. He's my boss. And you could be like, hey, yes, man, I'm your boss. And I was like, oh, good. You're my boss. You don't have a suit on. That's really kind of cool. Like, you know, I didn't write this down directly in the notes, so I just want to make sure I address it right now. Yes Man is hidden in the tops, which I think is such a neat thing just for the brazen, the balls that Benny has to say, hey, we're going to stash him away in the, like, within the gaze of Sauron, which is kind of a shitty analogy. But, like, here's House, here's 38, here is his land, here is his, his Rome again for lack of better term and i'm just going to hide him tucked away in like the most obvious spot and like not like he's in benny's suite but like in another room that like is adjacent to his that he's broken into he, he's essentially like hidden pot under his under his bed or like in his sock drawer like it's right there like it's super obvious that it would be in his room so what benny wants to do is he wants to take yes man get rid of House, and upload that AI into House's mainframe. Now, because Benny is a chairman, and he was one of the boot riders, and the man who he usurped his power from, his name was Bingo? I'm assuming he's spoken to House directly. He's obviously not been in 38, because the courier is the first person to go in 38, what have you, what will. But he has an audience, and he can probably call upon him if he needs, because he's the head of the chairman. Mortimer probably has the same office, the same opportunity. Kachino probably has the same opportunity for their respective hotels because they are the a face of Vegas, right? They're one of the tribes of Vegas. And he wants to get into 38, upload this AI that is Yes Man to the mainframe and wipe out House completely. Now, this gives him the ultimate upper hand because not only does he have control over all of Vegas, he has control over whatever the deal was between house and NCR. And then on top of that, he has an army of Securitrons. And as I'm going to talk about a little later, you can upgrade those Securitrons to be stronger Securitron. Because of, because of Yes Man being hooked up to the mainframe 
of House, of the 38, of everything else. That's how he found out about the couriers, about the six couriers that were going out and saw the routes and knew, like, this is the one that I need is the chip. And he then said, okay, well, he's coming from here. This is going to be the route and we're going to do this and I'll hire these cons. Uh, Jessup is one of them. So he figures all this out and then is two steps ahead of the courier, finds the courier. As we all know, the game opens with you getting shot twice in the head. And then he takes your platinum crisp. Yeah. Like <laughs> he takes your, uh, he takes the thing that the, the MacGuffin, he takes the plot device and then starts the game. And what's a beautiful thing about Yes Man and just a beautiful way to push plot, like honestly, like as I get older and I appreciate New Vegas more and more, I'm really realizing that Yes Man is a fail safe in case you mess up the other ones, but also like it's a way to push plot if need be. You'll just go there and go, hey, Yes Man, tell me everything I need to know about Ben. And he goes, sure thing, stranger man. What do you want to know? And then it, it just tells you everything. I kind of want to get a yes man tattoo, just the face, like on the back of my thigh. I think that'd be super tight or, or no, my calf, either way. Something that like nobody would ever see it, but I, but I know it's, it's for me, special for me or my butt cheek. Nah, that's too weird. I bet that, I wonder if that hurts. That's prime real estate. Anyway, so Yes Man can activate the army of Securitrons and then can get upgraded to Mark II through 38. So it's in the bottom of 38, as you probably know if you've played the game. Yes Man is an incredibly powerful entity. I would, I would argue Yes Man can be powerful, more powerful than the Legate. I think he could be more powerful than Linnaeus. I, I do. I, I, I'm, this is not the time or place for it. If, um, I do a tier list video, link to the tier list video here. If I do a tier list video on the most powerful, well, that's the thing is like, it's, it's so easy to say like Horrigan's S he's double S God tier. Like he's just, come on. Uh, SS plus Hitler streaming service. <laughs> um, but like, I, I really think he could be more powerful than Linnaeus because of this. There is the, the Eldorado substation. You have to upload Yes Man to the Eldorado sub, sub, substation. And that is because during the Battle of Hoover Dam, in case Hoover Dam is damaged so tremendously that it cuts off power. Because mind you, Hoover Dam, regardless, like in the real world, regardless of Fallout, Hoover Dam, if humans are blink gone tomorrow, Hoover Dam is predicted to have power. I think it's anywhere from two to 600 years that it'll just continuously go. Also, this is my favorite fun fact about Hoover Dam. Uh, it's not done proofing or curing, whatever the term is for concrete. When concrete solidifies, it gives off heat and the concrete around it is still solidifying and giving off heat and the heat is not letting it solidify. So there is like a cycle that like predicted in X amount of years, Hoover Dam will solidify as nothing to do with this lore. It's one of the coolest facts that I know about this big, this big block of thing that stops water and makes power. If the dam gets so tremendously injured, the Eldorado substation is backup power. They redirected power, at least for Yes Man from the sub, the, the substation. But then, which is a super underrated thing that I don't feel like enough people talk about. When you're doing that last battle and you get inside of Hoover Dam, as you start turning corners and seeing screens, depending on who you picked, you'll see Yes Man's like little smiley face on the screen, which I love. It's a nice little touch, small little thing, little ting for you. Big fan. Uh, really enjoy that. And another thing about Yes Man is when I first played New Vegas, I didn't really understand what I was doing because it was like the first super in-depth RPG that I really had ever played. And I remember doing the Yes Man route because I just stumbled upon it. So I was like, I guess I'm doing this. And it was like, go talk to this group, go talk to this group, go talk to this group, go talk to this one and this one as well. And I didn't realize what that like really meant for like story progression and the game and what have you. And I just went, lie, we don't have to worry about them. Lie, we don't have to worry about them. Lie, we don't have to worry about them. And then I was just like, I think that's a big reason why I didn't like New Vegas is because I was just like, oh, I guess I don't have to do any of that. That's lame at first. That's why I didn't like it at first. So I just remember like going to Yes Man and being like, yeah, I talked to them. They're all right. All right, cool. Good. What are they going to do to help us in the battle? 
I, they're not showing up. Okay. Like that was just, but I like that because like it, I want to see glitchless speed runs because I have a feeling a glitchless speed run is how fast can I get to Benny? How fast can I kill Benny? How fast can I tell Yes Man, do not worry about these people? I have a feeling it's incredibly quick. Like both four Vulpus and Kalta could even come to you and be like, the eyes of Kaisar shine upon you. Here is his mark. Do not f*** up because we will not give you this pleasure again. That sounded sexual. We will not give you this opportunity again. That didn't sound sexual. Like that, I feel like, oh God, I really want to look up. I think I could do it. I bet you any amount of money I could do it. I could be the tomato anus, and those are big words, I know, but I could be the tomato anus of glitchless speedruns for New Vegas. Maybe. I'd have to look into it. Who watches Glitchless, though? All right, some notes. Now, I get all my lore off of fallout.fandom.com. Yes Man can be persuaded into admitting being the means by which Benny found out that the courier had the Platinum Crisp and takes pride in it if the courier subsequently reveals to him that he, the, cur- the courier got shot by Benny. Yes Man will show remorse for having taken pride in the act. I think I've said this, but if you attack him, he becomes hostile briefly, much in the same vein as Victor. Because he's a a Securitron, you kill him, he just comes right back. Oh, so hold on a second. This says, if the player character is female and seduces Benny, seduces and kills Benny with the Black Widow perk, Yes Man will remain in the back room of Benny's suite instead of moving in front of the Topps Casino entrance. I don't have any memory of him being outside of the tops. I, okay, this is a genuine thing. This is how big and prolific this game is. Prolific, prolific, prolific. I had no memory of Yes Man being outside of the tops. None whatsoever. That was my first playthrough was a Yes Man playthrough in Independent Vegas. A courier ran Vegas. And... I have, I remember going to Benny Sweet every single time. I wonder, I was also playing the game the day it came out, so I wonder if the glitches were just crazy because there's a really good video online about how Hoover Dam, the Battle of Hoover Dam was completely different and there was like way more graffiti and like things on the wall and like there's walkways and I remember that. But like the only way to see it is if you take out all the patches. Like I remember dismissing Boone and watching him walk back to the Dinky Dino. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. I, I thought you had to go to Benny's suite every time because I was writing. I actually have a note that I was going to write down for this where it was like, I wonder if you can use Benny's suite as a player home and just operate out of there. Oh, wow. Hmm. In the French version of the game, Yes Man is bien oui oui. Bien being French for blessed. B or B-E-N-I. Benny? Benny oui oui? And we meaning yes. It is a slang term given to a person who always agrees with the authorities. The Spanish version he is called Servatron. That's cool. Yes Man is one of the o- is one of, if not the only, Securitron that is not affected by the Mark II software upgrade. Because you can infinitely respawn Yes Man, he becomes an infinite source of scrap metal. Yes Man will no longer respawn if a laser or plasma we- weapon disintegrates or melts him. This does not cause any quest he's associated with to end or fail. Wow. If asked about the fort, and then asked about it again after after installing him into the thirty eight main, the Lucky 38's mainframe, he would give the player character a printout stating that he hates repeating himself and feels self-conscious and when this happens the letter ends with love yes man i love that that's so neat that's about it that's really about about everything i have to say about yes man really cool character he should be behind me it's weird when i was a kid i watched nick jr and i had face and then after face i had yes man i hope you guys enjoyed this that is is everything I have to say about Yes Man, and that, for this week, is lore.